Ayan, good morning everyone! Happy April Fool's Day! Eh, trip lang ako kanina. Sabi ko walang market today. But there is po, biro lang po yun. At uh, saka last episode na po ito ng Daily Grind. Uh, biro rin lang yun. <laughs> right, good morning! Um, second quarter ng market. Congratulations sa mga kumita. Right, congrats sa inyo. Um, today is gonna be a little reporting about our performance last month, so March. Di ko po na prepare yung quarterly report ko ng performance ko for for the international market. Yeah, but I'm gonna be sharing with you um, yung mga uh, yung result ng trades natin sa March, um, the strategies we applied in uh, for these trades. Yan po, pag-usapan po natin yan mamaya. Also, my recommendation sa PSE for today, yan po, may bibili na ako today actually. So, um, M, andyan sa, ano ko eh, andyan sa picks ko. Um, MWC, number one, most probably I'm gonna be buying MWC today. I'll explain to you why later on. Yan, magre-recommend din ako sa PSE. And, yun, um, let's start. Yan, good morning everyone, especially to my daughter Laika, who is in Hong Kong right now. So, enjoy your trip in Hong Kong po. <laughs> and so, Yanil Kasing, sorry your message got retracted. Um, Jolly Garis, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Good morning then. Arman Tang lang nga pala guys. Thank you so much mga nag-wish ng uh, I mean, nag, uh, nag-condolences po sa family ko. Um, my grandmother was laid to rest yesterday. Um, she is she, she, uh, she was 88 years old po. So, medyo matanda na rin. Uh, great grandmother na po yan ng mga ano namin, ng mga anak namin. So, um, we are very thankful for the time he shared, she shared with us. So, and thank you again. And Jolie Gares, good morning. Arman Tanglao, good morning. Bossing Trader, uh, morning sir. Uh, Lloyd, and sa imong family to you too. STV Trader, good morning. ISM and IRC ATN uh, requests ni STV Trader. And so, itong mga ito. I'll write these down. All right. Um, Lionel Kasing, uh, good morning sir. On sa tanaw ni mo kay Web. Tanaw na to na run. Ano, Lionel Web. Lionel. Alright. <laughs> Burnstorm TV Gaming, good morning sir. God, good to sell na po ba si SMC. SMC, 
yeah, I think SMC is overpriced as of the moment. Pwede nyo po i-sell half yan, especially pag nakikita nyo weakness. Right, just sell half. We don't really know. Kahit na may weakness yan. It's a good company. So, baka magtuloy-tuloy yung pag -akyat. So, you don't have to sell it all. Right, kasi baka umakyat. Sayang naman yung position mo. Right, so just sell half. You can take profits if you want to. Right, Makyan, good morning, coach. Good morning then. Um, Solomon Yeban. Right, um, PHA. Kamasahin natin si PHA. Uh, Nag-buy nag -buy ako ng PHA sa 1.03. 3 ba yun? Yes, uh oo. -oh. Um, wait, I'm still waiting for the future movements. If ever bumagsak pa man yan, I'm just gonna be buying more. Because I know PHA is still very cheap as of the moment. So, yun po yung plan ko dyan. So, let's check out. PHA later on hops. Good morning, sir. Pwede naman pusukin si Vita and or si Vita. Yes, um, nirecommend ko yan lately and nag-support na naman si Vita, di ba? So, that's gonna be good to get into. I'll write that down. Si Or then, um, nag-stabilize naman si Or. Alright, um, and 3D Print Ways. Good morning, sir Lloyd. Sana this April, kumita naman tayo lahat. Green, please. Hopefully so, right? Um, uh, I have open trade positions sa uh, eToro. Right, so hopefully kumita na naman yung mga nag-copy trade sa akin. Yung mga medyo maaga-aga nag-copy trade sa akin, laki-laki la na nakita. Right, so hopefully this, this this month will be good to us also. But so far, so good. Maganda naman ang projection ng market. Um, so, yun. Um, hopefully, we're gonna be doing well then sa international market. Para sa mga nagka-copy trade sa akin, kumita naman tayo lahat. <laughs> diba? Aziz and C, good morning. Noel Arellano, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning ng Boston Trader. Sana kaya, san kaya makabili ng sariling fire truck, Sir? Sunog na sunog port ko. Port ko, salamat kay App APO. Right, you're welcome. Alright. Um, si Apo, I think... Ayan, um, umakit naman yun si Apo eh. Pero yun nga lang, huwag na huwag niyo pong habulin sa taas, masasunog at masasunog kayo dyan. Get ready to be an investor pag naglaro kayo ng apoy sa taas, di ba? So, ganun lang yan. Um, boxing trader, uh, it may be an expensive uh, lesson for you. So, yan po. Um, hopefully, we learn. Right? Para huwag, na, huwag naman sayang yung losses natin. So, that's the best we can do as of the moment. Let these losses be a lesson to us. Right? I had that the same uh, I had the same same lesson then when I started in trading then so don't worry about that um, ayun, um let it be a lesson and it should make you mature as a trader in the future you will realize na um iba iba ang strategy right uh, if hindi niyo alam paano mag momentum trade yun yung sinasabi ko if hindi niyo alam paano mag momentum trade let it go um let the uh, pag missed opportunity na yan huwag niyo pong habulin yan kasi pag ganyan ang mangyari uh, baka matalo lang kayo right so ayun saka lang ha um check ko lang yung oh, history ko nawala yung ano eh um nawala yung full details ng mga trade ko eh Ayon, so much better, much better. So, um, Amancho Akas, good morning. Um, King Bakay, Coach, morning kamusta weed and uh, weekend. Nakapagpahinga ka ba, Coach? Thanks, pasilip naman, Coach. Uh, P A T X and Green. Actually, walang pahinga kasi nani yung funeral ng lola ko. So, um, late nights ra kami na tutulog. <laughs> so, ayon, lo, na close ko. Ayon, let. Um, Asan ako? Um, from King Bakay, Louis Dexter Lau. Good morning, sir. Good morning then. Buti naman nga, yun nga lang, kaganda ng weekend. Yes, yung mga positions na pinasok ko is, uh, sa, especially sa Itoro is close naman over the weekend. So, um, what do you call this? Uh, nakapagpahinga tayo sa trading. Right? So, it was, it was still a busy weekend. Um, that, nung Saturday, I attended uh, the PIC, the Passive Income Conference of Cebu. Um, PICC, uh, it was a very fruitful seminar and dami ko natutunan. So, during that time, student na naman ako, it always pays to join seminars. Right? And dami ko natutunan sa seminar. Um, one of these days, is share ko po sa inyo mga natutunan, natu na, natutunan ko. Right? Um, gusto ko sana i-add doon. Siguro in the future events nila, I'll be adding there. Um, passive income through copy trading. Diba? So, wala, wala doon eh. Right? So, Pwede rin natin ma-share yan doon. Uh, but definitely, ang dami pong natutunan. That's the beauty of uh, always joining seminars. Uh, don't stop learning. Yun, yun, yun yung post ko. Kasi po, pag uh, the, those are time investments and siguro investments din sa pera uh, to join the seminar. But 
if you're learning kasi the investment that those kinds of investments the the application the returns is limitless right so it's always worth it to join um, educational seminars like these right um, Nico Managa good morning coach need your input input on ISM MRC TBGI and kala ko TIA ano rin yan eh um, po na <laughs> tawag dyan uh uh, stock then thanks in advance yan marvin toka good morning sir lloyd apx vita si apx um nagsa-stabilize din so kumustahin natin yung request ni marvin dadaanan natin yan mamaya all right um shows dv tell po sell na po ba kasi ex dev date today Uy, thank you so much, Incarnation Joel. Good morning po, sir, and congrats po sa Itoro. Thank you so much po sa uh, donation ninyo, um, especially kay Joel Incarnation. Thank you so much. That's a very big help. Um, malaking tulong na po yan sa program natin. Mga pala guys, if you want to, pro, uh, if you like my content, if you, if you want to support the channel, and po, pwede po kayong mag-donate sa channel through cap, um copy trading tuloy through <laughs> through what they call this um through super chat yan po yung dollar dollar button sa katabi ng smiley sa chat room natin um pwede pwede po kayo mag-donate and uh, those any donation any amount will be greatly appreciated makatulong po yan sa everyday program natin right so tell sell na po ba ex dev date kasi today um we'll see we'll see right si tell kasi nasa picks ko rin kasi nasa MA20 but pasok mamaya niyo na papasukin pag um, mag-stabilize yung presyo kasi mababa naman ang presyo ni Tel ngayon eh. so I don't think it's gonna uh, the uh, what you call this the dividends is gonna matter that much with Tel today so maliit naman yung risk niya if ever um, bumaba sa MA20 then that is when you sell it right so just uh, hopefully nakapag-sell half ka na dun sa taas nag-sell half na kasi ako dun sa taas eh. Ronaldo Aban Sir good morning pasilip naman po si ZHI Holsim uh chp aba all right let's check these out all right hopefully we have enough time for all the re stock requests um luis santiago good morning akala ko wala trading coming from you april fools lang po yun all right uh enrico castuna all right uy thank you so much this is from bossing trader thank you so support sir kahit sunog i'm still motivated thank you so much then naman all right bossing trader Right, um, ZHI Holsim, CHP, ABA po. Right, so I'll write these down from Reynaldo, Aban. Um, Luis Santiago, good morning. Akala ko walang trading. Yan, nabasa ko. Right, Enrico Castuna. Uh, good morning, sir. Ask ko lang po yung minimum funding for eToro copy trading. Minimum funding niya is 200 USD. I don't recommend 200 USD. Um, but you can already start with that. Pero, yun nga, same with trading in PSE. Um, Kasi dollars siya, mas malaki dapat ang starting natin, right? But you can already start with 200, especially um, yung trading natin dito is ma, ma tawag niyan, um, magalaw ako mag-trade, di ba? Um, I'm in the middle, uh, aggre uh, middle category of the aggressive traders, so medyo magalaw ako, right? So kung 200 na ilalagay niyo dyan, baka malugi pa kayo sa fees, di ba? So, mas malaki pa yung fees makuku makukuha sa inyo kaysa sa gains ninyo. I recommend starting with 500 to 1,000. Magsimula po kayo dyan. But you can already start with 200 to copy trade. Right? B, uh, GB, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pasilip na ng CPG. TBGI. Um, DMC. Uy, si DMC nag-pull back eh. Diba? So, kamusta natin kung pwede na ba pumasok kay DMC. Wala siya sa lista ko ngayon. So, most probably hindi ko nakita yung buy signal niya. But let's check it out. Rinaldo Aban, happy birthday sir. Magandang buhay sa iyong kaarawan. <laughs> Good morning sir Lloyd. Greetings from Malaysia. <clears throat> Good morning sa inyo dyan. Uh, George and mga kapatid nating OFW sa Malaysia. Especially George, Luzon. Um, good morning, King Bakay, Coach. Anong price pwede pumasok kay MWC? Salamat, Coach. Right? Actually, papasok na ako today. Right? Um, kung mag-start na siyang mag-green today and if I see stability in the price movement, yeah, I'll be uh, entering MWC today. Right? May funds kasi ako. So, papasokin ko si MWC. Very good question. Um, hindi, ko na kaila, uh, hindi ako type na nag-aantay sa end of the day. As long as, kasi gandahan kasi, pag mura pa ang stock, kahit pa start of the market yan um, amateur hours sinasabi nila <clears throat> um, papasukin ko yan right? kasi low risk pa naman yung stock 
mahirap lang pumasok sa amateur or if high risk lang stock. So, as much as possible, kung mura pa naman stock, low risk pa naman siya, pwede nyo na pasukin yan. Alright, so, I'm gonna be entering that today. Ayan, um, pasilip naman from Lawrence Reyes, <clears throat> Bcore, MPI, okay pa si Bcore, hindi pa rin lumilipad, pero sa support pa rin, MPI and PHA, si PHA, same. Um, nasa support rin naman si PHA, but let's check out the charts to be sure. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Joel Encarnacion, again, um, nadaanan ko po yung super chat niyo na donation. Thank you so much po. Um, George, happy birthday. Bert Lobertas, good morning. Good morning, Sir Lloyd CPG. Thanks from Jerson Osar. Yes, nasulit na natin yan. Let's check it out in a, in a while. Chrislyn Corpus, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Um, ECP, MRC po. All right, let's check these out. MRC, ayan, si MRC, nasa baba rin naman yan, si ECP rin, so good to check these out. Ayan, San Miguel, good morning Sir Lloyd, ano balita sa short selling? Right, talk to my broker friend about short selling. Mahirap eh, ang dami pang, ano, dami pang guidelines, hindi pa siya ma-open agad sa lahat. So, once everything is ironed out by PSE, before mag-open yan, na yung nakakontrata na po akong broker na magigi ma, ma ano natin what they call this um ma feature natin dito most probably it all it will be on a weekend right um uh he will uh share with us the idea of short selling ano po yung mga pwede natin gawin so don't worry um uh summary daw hopefully it will push through matagal na naman matagal na nilang pinapromise yan hopefully magtuloy this month but Balita kasi is pinipigilan ng mga malalaking companies eh. Kasi alam nyo po, uh, kung alam nyo lang po, kaya pong pabagsakin ng short selling ang mga malalaking companies. Sila Ayala, sila GFC, sila SM. Malaking chance na bumagsak sila. Kasi pag nag-overprice yung mga yan, ibibenta ng mga tao, isyo short sell yan. Pabagsak ang presyo. So they don't want that to happen. So they're, as much as possible, they're stopping it. So wala tayong magagawa dyan. Alright, um... The thing is, uh, you don't, uh, kung hindi siya available, then no, we just deal with the cards, uh, we just play with the cards that we're dealt with, so kung wala, ta, kung wala ang short selling, then we'll do the best we can, right? So don't worry, right? If ganyan short selling, I promise you guys, magkakaroon tayo ng episode about that, it will be a very healthy discussion, um, it will be a live discussion para po makapagtanong po kayo. Right, bossing trader. Ayan, thank you again sa donation. Right, Kathleen, good morning, sir. EEI, please. Alright, I'll write that down. EEI. Nga pala guys, na feature tayo sa <laughs> it's a blog ni ano, uh, the social copy trading. So, yun. So that, hopefully that will boost our copy trading funds. Right. So just to show you guys, um, yung copy trading funds natin, uh. Ito eh, uh, mamaya na lang, report natin yan eh. So, isahin na lang natin yan. So, that will be part of our report for today. Alright, Kating, thank you so much. Um, Arnold Medic, um, thank you so much for the donation also. Good morning. Good morning to your family too. And special mention yan pag mga nagdo-donate. Alright, kasi naka-highlight yan eh. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, Kating, nasulat na natin si EEI. Joy P, good morning sir. Lloyd, um, ano po ibig sabihin ng disclosure ng Phoenix, uh, VLL, ISM, MBT, and JFC? po pala. Alright, let's check that out. Um, Phoenix na disclosure. Hopefully, we have time to check that out. Um, hmm? Phoenix disclo. Alright, so sunal, sulat natin yan. So, Joy, daan natin yan mamaya. Uh, thanks, nakakapit trade na rin po pala ako sa eToro and gaining. Alright, you're welcome. Alright, congratulations. Basically, congratulations po. It's a very good avenue for passive income si Itoro Copy Trading. So, I'm happy that you're gaining already. Good bull and bear. O nga pala guys, pakishare po ang video. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button. Andyan sa, um, nasa taas ni 2Trade Asia na logo. Ayan, nakapatong sa kanya. May logo dyan ng Financial Freedom 101. You can click that. Um, and dito sa, no, dito here. That's sa baba. There, 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 there. Right. So, um, click nyo lang po yan so that you can subscribe to the channel. Um, yun po, pika-share po yung video para naman po yung mga, um, yung mga newbies sa trading groups ninyo, malaman na lang that this program is running para makita po nila na may guidance po for them. Right? Bull and Bear, good day. Uh, Incarnation, welcome. 
Um, thank you. Um, Burnstone TV Gaming, pacheck din po si SMPH after breakout, saan po pwede isell. Alright, so yeah, si SMPH is poised to do a breakout today, yung um, nasa, na, nasa tuktok na siya. So if ever gusto nyo pasukin, you can use a breakout strategy. Alright, um, negative 3 below that, that's the sell point for for SMPH kasi baka bumagsak at ano eh, yun yung problema eh. So yeah, hopefully tama tayo. Right, um, that this will be backed up by volume. Yun nga lang, ang market is kind of manipis ang market. So, don't really want to play with stocks that are doing all-time highs right now. So, you don't have to be aggressive. Those are aggressive plays, yung mga all-time highs na nagbe-break out at hinahabol po ninyo. So, ingat with that. Right, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Hi, LV. Cha, from Robert Cas Cas Castle Tort. Ang ganda na apelido mo, Castle Tort. Right, social. Right, Jimmy Villaflor, SMC sir, right, all right, uh, SMC is here already, so tignan natin yan mamaya. Um, Arnold Medic again, thank you so much, nadaanan natin yung super chat mo. Uh, King Bakay, coach, si Bloom, magbibigay ng dividends. Yes po, dividends is always okay if you're into dividend plays, right, you're investing, pang ano lang kasi yan eh, for me, dividend plays really for, ano, for, for investors, yeah, number one yan. Now, if you're a trader, there's a way to take advantage of dividends. Especially pag nagbalita ng malaki na dividend, very substantial dividend. Aakit yan eh. So, you can trade that and then sell that before X date. Right? If you're not after the dividend, but you're after the uh, the momentum because of the dividend. And before mag-dividend day, ibenta mo na. You don't have to get the dividends if you don't want to. Kasi usually after dividend dates, bumabagsak yan. So, you have to weigh kung saan ang gusto mo mangyari. Get the dividends, I mean, get the dividends and your price is gonna drop down sa tabla rin. Or just sell it before the dividend date para yung momentum lang for the dividend ang habol mo. Right, so, so that's uh, that's a big probability. King Bakay, Coach. Ayan, um, Chris18, good morning. Uh, <coughs> Sir Lloyd, congrats sa Itoro, Coach. Thank you so much. Um, GMA7, sir. It's a GMA. Umakit na naman eh. Right? Uh, we already recommended GMA doon sa support. Starting to go up already. So, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay GMA noon. <clears throat> I recommended GMA at the support. Uh, right now, it's already out of position. So, I don't wanna recommend it. Uh, but, yeah. Tignan pa rin natin. Kasi, ito rin request ni Var Mark Vinoya. BPI, GMA7. Right? So, BPI na recommend ko last Friday. Um, umakit naman siya ng konti um, so that's good right. Jeff C good morning sir Ani Vita uh, Pizza more power thank you so much I'll write these down uh, hopefully we have enough time to get through all the requests right Mabel San Jose say good morning pa check po AC uh, thank you right I'll write down AC maganda pa rin position ni AC eh Ay, nasa baba pa rin naman si AC nagpa-position. So, that's good. Uh, Hafa Aday, good morning from Macau. Ayan, good morning, Hafa. Um, Gehien Penyaloga. Sir, good morning po. Okay po, CPG for long term. Gio, sir, pwede na bang pasukin? Si Gio, medyo mataas na si Gio eh. Or, it's a CPG, yes. Um, yeah, definitely not really for long term. For medium term, yes. Maganda si CPG. Right, so... Um, yan si Gio kung, uh, tingnan natin ang chart ni Gio kung pwede naman pasukin right. Leo Abad sir to copy trade kapag $200 lang ang port ko tapos $500 ang gusto nung i-copy pwede ba ako mag-invest sa kanya ng $200 tapos $500 ang gusto ko na makopy uh, to copy pwede ba ako mag-invest ng $200 yeah pwede naman kahit na yung sa akin diba? um, I started with $2,000 People can already copy me with two hundred dollars, de ba? So the proportion natin one is to ten, right? So that's possible, naman, right? Um, if five hundred dollars import ng kinokopya mo, yes, pwede mo kopya niyan, right? So that won't be a problem. Yung nga lang, mas sadu malit po on two hundred dollars. It's just that it's that it's the minimum, right? But I strongly recommend. May may nag may naghandle ng funds niyo na magaling, um. Kasi makikita nyo uh, statistics nila. Magaling naman yung performance niya. Sayang yung opportunity, di ba? So, okay lang yung mag-start ng maliit. Kung siguro ikaw magta-trade at you're just testing waters. But yung opportunity po for uh, for a good fund manager, minsan lang po yan. So, at least, medyo laki-lakihan nyo naman yung risk nyo. Huwag masyadong malaki, right? You can already attempt. Yun yun, sinasabi ko. Try with around 500,000. I mean, $500. Yun po. That will be... That would be a good start, especially for copy trading, right? 
Um, John Serik Santos, good morning, sir. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you, Ninyo Mercurio. Uh, good morning, sir Lloyd. Pacheck po si Costco. Eh, yeah, si Costco. Kamustahin din natin. Alright, Greg Asilo. Good morning, sir Lloyd. Green po, sir. Any thoughts? Yes, very good support for green. Cian Tot, uh, GT Cap. GT Cap. Alright, it's 8.41, so we need to start. So, I'll stop for sa request kay, ano, Cian. Um, yan. Um, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Ask ko lang kung ilang years na po kayong trader. It's been a while, right? Um, sigo, I can consider myself a trader na, no? Nagka-crypto, ano pa ako. Um, what do you call this? Nag-farm pa ako ng crypto. So, it was very long ago. Nagmamine pa kami ng crypto. Um, parang forex rin sa crypto noon, eh, right? May exchange rate kasi sa si crypto. So, what I do is, pag mura, hindi ko binibenta si crypto ko and then bumibili rin ako ng um, Bitcoin pag mura siya. Tapos pag umaakyat, um, binibenta ko. So, ganun, ang crypt, uh, ganun din ang trading noon and then I transition to stocks, stop crypto. So, hindi ko nasakyan yung boom ni crypto. That was around 2009, 2010. Tagal na po, right? But started with there. Right? So, I got the idea of trading. Especially sa friend ko pa noon eh. Kailbigan ko pa noon nag-introduce sa akin sa stocks eh was around 2005 I already had the idea of stocks of trading but yon those oh, I started there so medyo matagal-tagal na just di kailan po magboom si magbloom si bloom actually nagbloom na si bloom eh di ba um doon dapat sa baba natin siya uh, inabangan alright so I was oy I was able to read all the comments or was bumagsak lang ba alright so it's good to know alright um we'll start with the discussion but before we go to that we want to thank our sponsors to the Asia to the Asia.com um, check them out if you're looking for a good broker to Trade Asia my, my, my mobile app po siya so it's very reliable very fast and support lang bilis po mag reply um, so the thing is you can trade anywhere anytime you want to um, with, the, with their app so check out to Trade Asia to Trade Asia.com and eToro po I, uh, as, you, as you know I'm already starting to go aggressive in the international market if you uh, if you wanna join eToro just use my link that is in the vid video description sa baba. Create an eToro account using that link. That is gonna help me in return po. Right? And then you can copy trade me if you want to. Right? So, um, topic natin today, 6% po ang March performance natin. And I'm gonna give um, share to you the journal, uh, yung trading journal, yung activity ko po. And I'm gonna be reporting sa, yun, sa inyo. Right? So, here it is. Um... Statistics wise, March, right? April na tayo ngayon. So, dito na tayo naakyat. But for March, we are at 6.44%. Congratulations sa mga nagsimula, um, nag-copy trade sa akin nung simula pa ng March. 6% po yung tinugo natin. I'm aiming for 3% every month. At least 3%. 3 to 6% is not bad already, right? Um, we, we went uh, higher than 6% this month. So, that's very good. So, if you just um, imagine adding that up, 13% na po ang gains natin for uh, for just 3 months, ba? 13% ang gains, naging gains natin. It's a very beautiful gains, ba? So, yan po. Um, congratulations. Hopefully, masustain natin yan. So, we're, uh, I am I am aiming for around 30% a year, right, na growth sa funds natin. So, that's not bad. That's very good. So, much better, ba? So much better than banks. So 6.99. So how did we arrive to 6.99? Ito po yung trading ano ano natin. Um, trading journal natin. This is from March two to April one, which is today. Yan po. So oil. Um, bumili tayo ng oil noong um sorry. Uh, March thirteen, right? So that was a buying position. Um, pag sell position po, pag ganitong sell position, this is, this means na nag-short sell ako niyan. Right? So, buy position, um, 1.36% gain, uh, kasi nabenta natin yan. Si Amazon naman noong March 9, right? Um, that was 10% gain. Um, si, uh, eron, eto rin, meron din tayong buy, dalawang beses tayo nag-trade ni Amazon. Right? Um, 9.41% gain, sorry. And then nag-sell nag-sell uh, nag short sell take Google 0.91% um um loss tayo diyan. Um ang nangyari dito is a lesson learned ko po 'yan. Akala ko si Google magpo-pull back na kasi masyadong mataas na yung <coughs> climb niya, 'di ba? So 
Um, Trinay ko short sell, then I lost. <laughs> so, dapat hindi ka short sell sa isang uptrend na stock. Yun lang yung, yun lang yung lesson ko dyan. So, I won't be doing that in the future. Tinay ko lang. So, yun. Kaya may red tayo. That's the, re- that's the, yun po. Um, I try to be aggressive, pero sh- small amount lang ang tinay ko maging aggressive. Right? Just $300 for this, uh, for this aggressive entry. So, uh, malit lang na amount. That is what you do if you are experimenting on something. Wag po kayo maglalagay ng malaking pera kaagad. So, short sell, maliit lang. So, maliit rin na ang loss natin. Um, ito naman, buy position natin kay Google. Um, nag-gain tayo ng 7.54. Overall, <coughs> we gained 6.99 for that month. Wala pong redraw- pa redrawals na ginawa. Um, so, yun. That is how we perform during... Ano, during March. <coughs> so, congratulations sa mga nag-copy trade sa akin. So, um, for those new here, yung hindi pa alam ang copy trading, right, so, there's a function here sa eToro na pwede po kayong mag-copy and trade. And that just means that automatically, whatever amount you put into me, kukopyahin niya po yung future trades ko, even my current trades, pwede niyo po buksan yan. Right? And everything is, uh, what they call this is, uh, uh, transparent. Makikita niyo po ano na support ko. Just search for my name, El Bazaar. <coughs> El Bazaar, and then this person should shop, should pop up, and then click nyo pong portfolio, makikita nyo pong portfolio ko, uh, my chart performance, right, so, uh, last year, hindi pa kasi akong ganong aggressive, um, bumabagsak yung positions ko, uh, kasi nag-copy trade lang ako before, but when I started to trading to trade on my own, so umakit po ako from the bottom part to the top part, right, for this is from December to March until now. So, packet po ng packet and performance natin. So, you just search for my name, just click on copy trade, and then you can, I can be your fund manager already. So, ito po yung dashboard natin. This is how I'm performing as a, as a fund manager. Not really an official fund manager, but through eToro, I can manage funds already. So, we have $184,000 uh, under me. So, that's around 8 to 9 million pesos na hinahandle ko po ng funds. So, that's a big responsibility pera po ng taong bayan yan. So, I'm doing my best for the trade. So, yan po. I have 290 copiers last 30 days. Um, so, yan po. Yan po yung mga significant na, ano, significant na, uh, what they call this, significant na performance natin. So, right now, I'm, I am into uh, UK 100. Um, chart ni UK kasi I think it's gonna go up. So, umaakit na po siya. So, we invested um, a hefty amount in UK 100. Hopefully, tama tayo at magtuloy-tuloy pa itong pagkakyat. 888 Holdings, negative siya. But, don't worry about this. Bumagsak siya kasi nag-big out, give out ng dividends. So, it's still okay. Right? Um, tignan natin. Candlestick natin. Right? There was a big gap down from 888L from here, from this point to this point. Ano po yan? Um, nag-gap down po siya kasi nagbigay siya ng dividends, right? And then, so far, so good. Ang support niya is holding naman, right? We still are doing uh, playing with the divergence right here. Pababa ang presyo nito pero pataas ng RSI. So, I think this is a healthy bottom already for 888. So, yun kaya po linaro ko sa 888 kasi napakamura ni 888 ngayon. Very good support right here. While that supporting, ayan po, nag, ano na, maakit na po yung RSI niya. So, I think this is a good entry already. For 888. So, hopefully, tama tayo. Just in case, mali tayo. Uh, we're gonna be selling it at around, um, lo- magpag nag-loss tayo ng around 5% dito. So, bibenta po natin si 888 dyan. Right? So, so far, so good. I think this is gonna go up. After the dividends, nag-stabilize naman siya. So, that's still good for 888. Yun po yung positions natin ngayon. Um, <clears throat> still early on the trades. So, you can copy trade me. Right? So, if hindi pa kayo nagka-copy trade, pwede pa pong humabal sa mga positions. Right? So, that's my report. That was our performance for March. Next month ulit, um, April, i review natin yung performance natin. I'm gonna explain to you yung mga positions natin, bakit natin pinasok during that time. Right? So, that's it. Um, today, ang mga recommendations ko, um, Sir, is it true na may hidden charges ng copy trading? The size of the account is relative to the charges being paid? Um, no, not really. But hindi naman, hindi naman siya hidden charges eh. Right? Depende na yun sa trader. Ako, nagtatrade ako. Um, there are overnight fees kasi, right? Um, for example, me. Very good question. This is from S- Sergeant Rock Ray. For example, eto. Makikita naman. Um, charges, charges, charges. No, that's not a compensation. Let's say with oil. Right, si oil, no, paano ba yun? Lumabash, lumabas. 
withdrawal, compensation, account statement, account statement, sorry, that's not it. Um, makikita to eh. I'm not really sure paano all. I try ko ang all. Total fees, ayan. So, so overall trade ko, may fees ako nakuha. 2.76, uh, 2.76 dollars. Alright, so nasubtract yan sa trades ko because I am trading oil. Alright, si oil kasi is what you call this is a commodity and may overnight fees yan. Dapat pang intraday lang yan si oil kung ayaw nyo mag-overnight fees. Pero look at the uh, look at the relativity naman. So, mga 2, $2 dollars and then I gained um, thir uh, 13 dollars. That's not bad. At one point, umabot ito ng 30 dollars eh, ba? So, 30, 30 dollars gain for ni 30 na 30, 3 zero. Um, maaga ko lang to na benta kasi I, I had the pressure of um, selling it. But I was charged 2.76, umabot ito ng mga $30 na gain. So, it's still a $28 gain, ba? But this is proportional to you guys. If ever, um, if ever $200 lang ang pera ninyo, so that's in proportion wise to 10 to mine. So, most probably 0.20 cents ang nakuha sa pera ninyo on this point. So, depende po yan sa amount na ano nyo. So, depende po yan sa tinitrade ninyo. Right? If ever I, um, if ever medyo nag-worry kayo sa fees niya, don't worry. Calculated ko na po yan as a trader. Hindi niyo po iisipin yan actually. Right? Um, so for ito, receiver refund, all you know for what? From Kai Doring? Not really sure. Bakit? Um, baka na-cancel yung pera mo? Or Kai? That's good, right? Yung iba kasi nagre-reklamo kasi may charges. Ikaw naman, nakareceive ka ng refund. <laughs> na hindi mo alam saan galing. So, it's okay. Tumanggap pa nga ng pera. So, check. Uh, um, please send an email to Jeff Gu. G -J I'll type it in the comments. Jeff Gu at itoro.com. You can email him so that you can ask him what it is about. Um, ayun. Um, wala po siyang hidden charges. Uh, it's already... The charges are given um to you your information just go to here uh go here sa help and then pwede nyo po makita market hours and fees pag commodities kasi may overnight fees yan pag nag, nag leveraging kayo especially nag short sell ako with a leverage of times 5 my charges yon right so um so if you click on commodities makikita nyo po dito um searching instrument market hours eto sell overnight fees meron po siyan per unit na presyo ba so makikita nyo po yung overnight fees niya so, commodities has overnight fees. Si stocks naman, wala pong overnight fees si stocks. Right? So, yan. Walang overnight fees. Um, magkaka-overnight fees lang yan pag, pag nag-ano lang kayo. Pag nag-short sell or nag-leverage kayo. But, um, normally stocks has no even hidden charges. If ever, ayaw niyo pong may mga, may mga, ano, may mga, uh, what do you call this? May mga fees, then just trade stocks if you want to. Okay? So, it's up to you. Pero po, Ako nagte-trade is I already calculate calculated ko na po pati fees right so wala na po iisipin diyan actually right um from JoyP then may refund then oy amazing right so eto pa nga sila sila JoyP tsaka sila sila ano sila Kai Doring is tumanggap pa ng pera okay <laughs> kay Toron nila alam right anyways um Sir Thoughts kay Wilcon po mahal na po yan si Wilcon so I don't really wanna recommend it Lenny Kiatchon, minimum 500 per account sa Itoro. Actually, the minimum is $200 lang. I recommend lang $500 at your, for, as your minimum. Kasi po, para hindi kayo medyo lugi sa mga charges po. Right? So, the lesser your ano is, um, para sa PSE din, di ba? Um, you can already start an account as low as 5,000 pesos. Kung sa first metro kay BDO, you can even start with nothing, di ba? So, kahit 1,000 lang ilagay mo, pwede 1,000. But yun nga po, malulugi kayo sa um, malulugi kayo sa fees. Hindi kayo lugi sa $200 if long term naman kayo sa isang stock. ba? Kasi um, long term nyo nakukunin so the, ma offset naman yan sa, sa gains ninyo. But um, if ever magalaw kayo, especially in copy trading magalaw ako mag trade. So if you just gonna copy me with 200 baka um, napakaliit na lang po ng gains ninyo. Pero I have seen people na kahit $200 lang ang um, um, ang linagay nila. I can't you can see the amount here, but nagigain naman sila. So, for sure, meron dito, meron dito ang tao na, ayun, green nga pala, halos lahat ng mga nagkakapi sa akin. Right, so, congratulations. Um, for sure, meron 200 lang na dito, pero gain naman sila. So, that's okay. It's not a problem. Right, so, yun. Um, 
Very good question. And dito ako sa US, minimum niya $500. Ay, okay. Sa US, right. So, Lenny, if you have someone here in the Philippines who you can trust, na pwede gumawa ng account mo, that will be better. Kasi, ang alam ko, bawal ang copy trading dyan sa US eh. Kasi wala pa silang license. So, dito pa sa Pilipinas pa lang allowed. Uh, not lang. Um, wala lang dyan. So, if you create an account in the Philippines, um, kahit na nasa US ka, uh, madetect na system, your account is based in PH. So, pwede kayong mag-copy trade already. So, that will be a workaround for it. Okay, so... Let's go to my, if you have any questions, for your questions, lagay nyo lang naman po sa comments dyan. Alright, so let's go to PSE now. Ayan, so mga recommendations ko for today. Here are my recommendations today again. Alright, these down and then put, post it in the comments. Um, Leo Abad has questions, sir. Anong oras ba Pinas mag-start ang market sa eToro? Depende po yan. Si commodities is 24.5. Um, crypto is 24-7 Depende po sa stock na um, bibilhin mo So for example, yung stock na yan is nasa UK na market So UK stock market po ang babasihan natin kung anong oras po mag-open sa kanila Kung US stocks naman, kung anong oras po mag-open ang US now stock market Doon doon po yung open sa atin um, Good morning sir, ako 200 pa lang nalagay ko at may gain natin so much Magdagdag ako for sure from Mark Nicole, yes. With just $200, you can already gain. Pero sayang pa, yun, yun nga lang po, yun, yun yung sabi ko. Sayang opportunity na meron nang magtitrade para sa inyo. Kaya kas, kung maliit lang ilalagay nyo. But I understand kasi nagtitest out pa naman yung mga tao. Or, hindi talaga kaya yung malaki na amount. So, it's, um, no one is stopping you with starting with $200. It's just, I just recom recommended ko lang naman yung $500 if you want to. Right, um, Lenny? Right, ako, ako din, sir, may refund from Delia Nieva. Yun. That's good, right? Yung mga tao, <laughs> yung mga tao nag, um, nagre-reklamo kasi takot sa pera. Ito pa nga, nagre-refund si Ito Oro sa kanila, hindi nila alam. So, I want you to, to to email that person. Hindi ko kasi alam kung para saan yung refund ng mga natatanggap ninyo. Kasi ako wala. Right? So, if ever, para, um, just, just ask that person para malaman nyo po talaga para saan yung refund. Right? So, my picks for today. MWC number one. I'm gonna be entering MWC today. Most probably, pag open ng market. Right? So, MWC is already uh, very cheap as of the moment. Double bottom na po siya. Actually, bumaba pa nga. Which is good for me. Right? This is good for me. Um, look at that. RSI, na hit niya na po yung 20 level. So, that's a, the best entry point right now. So use this um, price right here as your support for MWC 22.73. Right, papasokin ako po yan, ko na po yan today. Right, so MWC very definitely very good. Na hit na yung RSI lowest bottom, uh, lowest RSI niya. Uh, I mean yung oversold na RSI level. So and getting 200 lang yung linagay ko sir pero laging green ako, magdagdag ako sa May. So congratulations right from getting um, MWC guys, um, that should be uh, self-explanatory na halos, di ba? RSI, if you know RSI already, very basic. That's a buy signal using RSI. So, I think this has bottomed out already. So, MWC, good company. That's the best entry point right there. Just in case we fail, cut loss lang, di ba? Ganun lang naman. Pero pag mura na kasi, ma ma maliit na lang ang chance na um, bumagsak yan. Mas malaking chance bumagsak yan pag nasa taas. Right, MWC, um... Next is MRSGI. MRSGI. Yan. So, it's still climbing and nag-breakout po sa MRSGI. But overall, napakamura niya pa rin. Guys, insider news. I share ko lang ito sa inyo. Uh, si Alturas, one of the biggest na mga ano dito. Na mga malls. Uh, na niche dito sa mga probinsya. Alturas, binili po ng MRSGI. If you know how big Alturas is, as a business, and then it's already under MRSGI. You know what I mean. Alright, so MR, MRSGI. Uh, pwede nyo pong i-break out strategy ito. Maganda yung... Yun nga lang, oversold levels na siya. Alright, so konting ingat lang. Alright, so MRSGI, nag-break out. You, um, ascending... Tri um, no, that this is a flag pattern. Uh, nag-break out siya ng flag pattern. Just in case if it fails, I will strongly recommend pullback na lang. Alright, best, best entry is pullback. We recommended MRSGI here. And then here again, and then there it is, market na. May may some breakout. Uh, if you want to, yes, you can use a breakout strategy with that news na stinger ko sa inyo. If you, uh, you can do your due diligence. Tignan niyo po ano po yung yung yun sinasabi ko. If you think it's good, yeah, um, maganda po magbudega ng MRSGI. Right, so RHI, 
um, we have a confirmed support right here after an engulfing pattern. Ito yung sinasabi ko. After an engulfing pattern, I usually wait for it to stabilize before I enter. And it confirmed a support right here. So that's our entry point. Nasa support po tayo for RHA. So you can test that out for RHA. Especially pag mag green yan today. RRHI. Next is Seb. Right? Ito rin si Seb. Right? So Seb, good volume. Right? Maganda ang volume niya last uh, Friday. Uh, we are still at support. So I think this support is gonna hold out. Um, gumaganda yung price action niya. Pataas na yung buying niya. So uh, Seb is, uh, has a good support. We can test that out. <coughs> no, not LPX. LPZ. Si Lopez naman also. Same. Um, <coughs> good price action after the upper Bollinger Band triggers. Nag, uh, Nagbabounce last MA20. So that's the best entry point. Recommended LPZ here during that support. And umakit na po siya. So that's a good entry point for LPZ. And lastly, si Now. Alright, isa sa mga recommendations ko ngayon. Si Now. Um, eto rin. Same, uh, same pattern. Uh, engulfing pattern with the Bollinger Bands. And then we have a stabilization right here. Good price action. Uh, we can test this out. Hindi po ibig sabihin na aakit na po yan. I could be wrong. Diba? But it's just technical analysis telling us na most probably akit na siya. It has bottomed out already. So, we can test that out. At least maliit ang risk. Just in case we're wrong, then we can always uh, cut our losses. Ganun lang naman yung trading. Alright? So, those are my picks for today. I'm gonna go now to your request. Lapit ko yung microphone para hindi ka na malaki sa boses ko. Alright, so. Um, Alright, I'm just making sure wala ko na miss ng mga questions. Ayun nga pala, um, baka hindi refund yan. Yun yung dividends na um, in ko sa inyo. sinasabi ko sa inyo. Just, just, but just to be sure, just uh, email uh, Jeff Go, okay? Um, asa na tayo? Request number one is ISM. Kung masin natin si ISM, ISM is sitting at the support na naman. So that's good. Alright, so so far so good. As long as the support is holding, you if you wanna buy uh, ISM, this is the best area to buy it. If mag green yan today, then that will be our entry point. So far, so good, right, for ISM. Um, Nag-hold naman yung support. IRC, um, it's a downtrend pa si IRC, eh. Right, pababa pa rin yung lows niya. So, I, we don't, we're not seeing any solid support at the area. So, we don't really know for sure where this is going yet. I don't want to recommend IRC still, right? Hopefully, mag-recover yan soon, but I'm not seeing any recovery signals for now. Um, RSI, pababa rin naman, so... Right. No definite, no definite, uh, uh, I can't see any buy signals for IRC as of the moment. So, iwas lang muna kay IRC. ATN naman, um, uy, okay. So, ATN, um, um, basta recommendations ko lang kay ATN guys is, just keep buying the dips. Pag bumagsak yan si, A uh, si ATN, just keep buying it. Alaga po ng mga brokers yan. Right, nalagaan nila yan. So, kaya hindi mo mabagsak si ATN. Alright. Um, I'm recommending ATN for long term. I'm also into ATN for long term. So, yan. Um, web naman. Alright. So, this is the pullback we're expecting from web. Let's just wait for a bounce for web before we want to recommend it. Alright. For web. So, kundi ingat lang muna kay web. Alright. Huwag muna. Huwag masyadong aggressive. Um, SMC. Uh, huh? SMC. Mahirap pa si BNC SMC. Eh. We don't really know where this is going. So, I can't recommend anything for SMC right now. So, mga gusto mag-sell up, uh, we are reaching resistance right here. So, sa resistance niya, pag nag-fail siya, yeah, pwede, pwede kayo mag-sell up kay SMC. Um, SMC PHA. So, PHA, nag-hold pa naman yung support ni PHA. This is the support of PHA. And nag-bounce naman siya at 1.0. So, um, that's good to enter at uh, 1.0. So, get in near that support as much as you can if gusto niyo pumasokin si PHA. Just in case you're trading it pag bumagsak and you wanna cut your losses, please do that. Si Vita naman guys, I recommended Vita. Was it here? Oh, no, no. Here. I recommended Vita last Friday. Number one yun sa pick natin, di ba? And maganda yung volume niya. So, I think this is gonna go up already. I don't wanna recommend it today. Right? Nung Friday ko po recommend ito and it was already starting to go up. Remember my episode last, last Friday? Di ba? So, number one natin pick si Vita. Um, it's already going up. We have with good volume. So, congratulations sa mga pumasok. Uh, I don't want to recommend it there. I want to recommend it on a pullback na. Right? Not right now. Kasi medyo mataas na yung risk. 
right? So, but you can always, pwede nyo naman mag-buy ka dito, and then if ever mag-pull back and then bounce, you can buy more. Pwede naman yan, but it's up to you anong strategy nyo. Last Friday ko po yan ni-recommend, so I can't recommend it today. Or po naman, so, sub or is um, showing us a support right here. Um, don't have to be aggressive kay or wala pa naman tayong trend na nakikita but this is a good support for or um, pag nag green yan, yeah you can test buy wag mo na malaki na pera okay um, malit lang muna just to test the support if ever mag, mag tama tayo at market yan at least we're already in the ano um, uh, next one is green and si green recommended green here sa support medyo mataas na si green so iwas na muna tayo uh, I wanna recommend green mamaya na pag nag pull back na naman price range niya if we risk our, uh, check our risk it's already negative 6.8 around 7% below support and then pag nag ano tayo na, nasa negative 10 po yung risk natin dyan malaki na yan so stay away from green already right um kasi dun tayo sa support dapat po mapasok PA naman nagpo pull back but this is a good sign for PA we are now playing at MA20 area so, baka mag-bounce to today. I just can't recommend it kasi wala pang bounce. Pero abangan niyo po today. PA is good. Um, pag nag-bounce yan, that would be an MA20 bounce. Use MA20 as your support for uh, for PA. T. And si T naman. Uy, nag-pullback si T na maganda. Right? This is a good bounce for T. Right? Yeah, I think this is good. Right? Napaka-stable na ng price niya. Eh. Right? Let's see how much our risk is during this level. Okay, yeah. Um, the major support is negative 5% okay, away. So, you can use this as your primary support dito. This is your primary support. And this is your secondary support. Yeah, T is good. Pwede nyo pong, ano, pwede nyo pong paglaroan yung bounce nito. Baka, baka magtuloy-tuloy up to niya. Kasi, na-hype ito noon. Eh. Umakit ng ganun. Eh. Tapos, nag-pull back ka agad. So, yeah. This would be a good time to test out T. Malit pa yung naman yung risk niya. Right, just make sure um, this is a trading stock. So, if ever mali kayo, just cut your losses. X naman, um, downtrend pa. So, stay away lang muna kay X. Huwag nyo pong babalikan si X. Green, ISM, MRC, MRC. Kamustay natin si MRC. Uy, good price action for MRC. Right. So, we have a support right here. Umakin na si MRC. So, this would have been a good entry point, di ba? Uh, for MRC. I can't recommend it now kasi nasa gitna na siya ng support resistance. Let's see in the future if bibigyan tayo ng po position again kay MRC. So, don't wanna recommend MRC anymore. Uh, especially for short-term trading. Um, TBGI, uh, maybe this is gonna be a support. Let's see if mag-green yan. Pwede nyo po i-test. Baka swatihin tayo. Makit yan si TBGI. So, yeah. Um, very low risk. Pag nag-green, test it out. Just cut your losses. Okay? Um, pang trading stock lang po yan, hindi po yan pang holding. Right, APX is showing us uh, downtrend pa sa yung pinapakita na yung APX eh. kaya na nagdadalawang isip pa akong tumingin kay APX. But we do have a support at this area. So, baka itong support na ito nag-hold naman. So, we can test that out. A good confirmation for this is a breakout from the downtrend. So, pag nag-breakout yun downtrend, that's a sign. Tapos na downtrend niya. And let's see if it will stabilize, give us a higher low before we want to get in APX. As of the moment, too aggressive for me for a company that is not that um, doing much waves um, so I uh, making waves so I don't want to recommend that much uh, kay MRC uh, kay ano sino ba yun? kay APX Vita we talked about Vita already um, ZHI ito si ZHI mga hinahype na stocks mga pinaglalaroan ng mga jockeys Right, so if you wanna play with jockeys, make sure you enter here at the support, okay? Um, any bounce soon will be a good entry point for ZHI. So, dun po kayo pumasok dyan. Huwag po kayo basta-basta pasok na lang. Next is ZHI, Holsim. Holsim. Ayan, si Holsim. Philippines. Ganda ng MA20. Uh, hindi naman siya pumasok talaga sa MA20, but this was a very good entry point. At dito natin na-recommend si Holsim, di ba? nag Bollinger Band Trigger and then nag Bounce MA20, we recommended it here. Ang hirap na habulin ito ngayon. I can't recommend Holsim anymore. Medyo mataas na impression ni Holsim. But definitely, it's on an uptrend. So, if gusto niyo pong pumasok kay Holsim, get in near this uptrend line or MA20 as, as the best you can. Right now, I can't recommend it yet. Medyo, medyo mahirap na yung position niya. Hirap basahin na right, for Holsim. So, I can't recommend that. CHP naman, 
um, CHP, uh, I think this is going to be a downtrend already for CHP. So, I don't want to recommend CHP yet. So, stay away na ta kay CHP. Congratulations sa mga pumasok kay CHP noon dito. Dito pa natin pinag-uusapan to, di ba? Pabagsak siya, but the RSI was, gonna, was going up. So, I told you guys, technical analysis-wise, aakit na siya. Di ko lang ni-recommend because, again, it's against my bias, CHP. Um, but then again, ano na dito is technical analysis. So, it went on an uptrend and umakit at umakit pa. So, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay CHP noon. This is already shaky, a shaky position for me. So, I don't want to recommend CHP at that point. Um, problema ng CHP, ang dami na pong um, kompetensya, right? Um, competition in the market of especially in ano in in cement so nahirapin po si CHP si ABA naman oy good so ABA is forming a support right here but I don't want to recommend it yet today I want to see a green before I can recommend ABA right so stay away lang muna ABA for me kasi tapos na yung panahon ni ABA eh. magpapahinga muna yan and this is a very good big climb for ABA look at this from this point to that point that's 288%. Amazing climb. Uh, magpapahinga pa yan. So, walang forever po. Remember that. Walang forever na uptrend. ABA. Next kay ABA. Asan ako? DMC. ABA. CPG. Ayan. Si CPG. Ayaw mag-load na chart. Um, so, while waiting for the loading, antay, tingnan natin yung mga questions. Um, just wondering if you might reach policy of eToro when you show your copy traders. You... No, some bashers might see use it against you. Um, bahala sila, right? Um, so far, wala naman. Um, wala naman. Wala naman sinabi si Itoro about showing the copiers. But yeah, that's something. That's something. Ano rin, no? uh, I need to consider that. Thank you for that, guy. Right? That's something I need to consider about. Bahala yung bashers. Wala naman tayong pakialam dyan. Right. Uh, what I'm really concerned about is really the gains, di ba? So, uh, we're just sharing to everyone yung gains para at least naman ma-inspire ma naman sila they can see that those people under us are gaining, di ba? So, ganun lang. So, thank you for for giving me a heads up, Kai. I'll ask Itor about that. Mark Nicole, 22. Good morning, sir. Ako, 200 lang. Gains for sure. Right. Lenny, Katchon, thank you. Delia Nueva, ako din, sir. May refund. Um, nabasa ko na yun pala, pala kanina. Right. Coach, meron akong 1.82 refund sa Itoro. San po nanggaling yun? I think that is from the dividends, right? Um, just, I, I'll, I'll ask that later on. John Vincent Pleto, sir, pa-request Ali SMC, SEC. Right, um, tingnan natin. Mike, morning, sir. PHA, akyat pa ba? I don't really know if aakyat siya. Um, Bias-wise, yes, I think it's gonna go up, pero hindi po tayo mauhula. Um, we just can't test it out. Para pag sinunate tayo, nakapatlist nandiyan tayo. Ganun lang ang trading, guys. If you think it's gonna go up, but uh, just test it out. But remember, hindi po tayo manguhula. Meron lang tayong bias. Just in case we're wrong, just always go out, right? So, I think it's gonna go up. I think it will, right? That's why nag-test buy na ako kay PHA. Um, kasi with the funds that PHA has right now, bibiglain lang kayo niyan anong project i-open niyan pag napakaganda ng project because they have the money they can do whatever they want ang laki ng pera noon 15 billion dollar I mean 15 billion pesos as big right so I think it's gonna go up right so PHA um yun uh tingnan natin if there are any questions um yan ilang percent ang buying range mo from support big thanks right Erwin Usually, at around 2% from support, yun po yung buying range ko para makomplete ko po yung mga um, negative 5% as my cut loss. Right? Sir, ano plan yung next pasukin sa eToro? Um, tinitignan ko si Lyft, ano mangi, uh, anong movement niya? I'm checking out Lyft and then, nag-iwas muna ako sa US market eh. So, I'm not really sure yet what is next to buy. Tinitignan ko lang lagi kung sino magbigay ng buy position. So, tingnan na natin sino mauna. Right. Uh, Noel, Nalia, Sir Lloyd, ituro ko mag-deposit ako lang using credit card. Pwede ba withdraw sa savings account? Um, by default, ibabalik na sa credit card mo eh. So, you can check out with your credit card company. Pwede naman nila i-transfer yan. Um, credit card namin, so pwede nga namin withdrawan eh. So, ganun. Apple ceiling, sir? Uh, no, I don't uh, I do not do those kinds of plays. <laughs> sir, I yes, right. So, let's continue. Si CPG, right? So, medyo shaky si CPG eh. I can't recommend CPG right now. Recommended CPG here. Um, I don't know, dalawang araw na siya doji, but the price action wise, maganda naman. So, I can't know for sure where this is going. I don't want to recommend it now, dapat nung MA20. So, 
kasi maliit ang rest doon. Right now, um, CPG kind of shaky. Umakit na siya eh, di ba? So, I think this is still gonna go on an uptrend. Right? Nag-try siya mag-break out. Then, uh, hindi naman nag-sustain. So, so far, so good. It's hard to tell what CPG will be doing uh, in the coming days. So, I can't recommend CPG for now. Kahit po may CPG ako, hindi ko po hi-hype sa inyo yan. <laughs> Pangit po yung entry niya. Um, TBGI, we talked about TBGI. And then DMC. Right? So DMC, recommended DMC here at the support. So far, so good. We're still playing at MA20. Yeah, maganda naman po yung position niya. Use MA20 as your support if you want to enter DMC. Um, I, what I strongly recommend kay DMC is on a breakout. Kasi this is a flag pattern for DMC. Breakout usually ang um, best indicator dyan for DMC. So, yun. Um, B core. We talked about B core already. Bias sa support MPI. Guys, MPI. Yan. So, I can't remember when I recommended MPI. I think I recommended MPI here sa MA20. But nag-fail siya. But so far, so good. Overall, napakamura pa ni MPI. Look at that chart. Diba? For a good company, this is still very cheap. I'm, I'm into MPI for long term. So, ito yung mga positions na pwede kayo magpodega for MPI. ECP. Uh, it's 9.17. Time check po. Uy, si ECP. Right? This is a good support for ECP engulfing pattern. And there's that there's the sub stabilization. I did recommend ECP last Friday, di ba? And so far, nagsusustain naman yung support. Yeah, pwede pa pong humabal kay si ECP. Right? Na-recommend ko yan on Friday. So far, so good. Um, ECP, MRC. Oh, we talked about MRC already. EEI. Ito, may request about EEI. Oh, ECP, divergence nga pala yan. That's one of the reasons why I recommended ECP last Friday because of the divergence. Recommended it here. Um, Magsustain pa naman yung support. Yeah, definitely, pwede pa habulin si ECP. Hindi ko lang nirecommend ulit today kasi medyo redundant na. So, yan. Uh, but yeah, ECP is still good to get into. MRC, we talked about MRC already. EEI. And si EEI, recommended EEI here. Uh, here also, I don't want to recommend EEI yet for now. Medyo mataas na. So let's see what, what will happen in the future. I can't recommend it now. Medyo mataas na po. Um, insights kay ISM. Ano insights ko kay ISM? Right, so chart-wise, ISM, support naman. So far, so good. Right? Um, wala naman, wala naman ako nakikita ng news so far kay ISM. It's just that, there are people, may napapansin ako mga tao, is they sens sensationalize um, bad news of other stocks um, sa lahat ng stocks. Right? Um, for example, yung may nag-post about si PXP, hindi matutuloy yung, uh, yung deal nila na yung PXP. Right? Um, it was a good bet for Dennis Uy. Kasi ang nangyari kasi, di ba, si government, binigay kay Dennis Uy yung parang, uh, what do you call this, um, forgot the term pero para siyang exploration sa South China Sea so, I mean sa South China Sea so Dow's ne needed a company para uh, makahandle doon that's why he bought um, nag down payment siya sa kay PXP pero hindi natuloy that was the bad news there um, but somehow people some <laughs> people find a link na ganun din daw ang gagawin niya kay ISM so up to them if they, they want to do that but right now I'm not seeing any negative signals naman for 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 the third telco yun ka lang matagalan lang so painipan yan that's why i always, i have told you from the very beginning this is gonna be a long haul right for for ma pang mahabaan ito if ever you your money hindi niyo po ma-afford yung mahaba na ano mahaba na uh, na upuan i don't recommend putting it here kasi mataga, baka matagalan pa ito but for sure if the project starts actually next start na sila ngayon um it's gonna be successful. Hindi naman for sure, but malaking bias na uh, I, I believe it's gonna be it's gonna be successful. So right now, if ever bumaba siya, then I'm just still gonna be buying more. Let's see if my bias is right. If in case in there, then I'm just gonna be cutting my losses and then apply it somewhere else, di ba? Ganun lang naman ang stocks. If you are if you cannot afford na mag long term, right? I recommend other stocks na nerereko ko wag po dito, right? Kasi yung mga bashers, ito lang na reko ko tinitingnan Hindi na tinitingnan yung ibang reko, di ba? If gusto nyo po mabilis ng pera, pwede kayong mag-copy trade sa akin sa Itoro. Ganun lang naman, di ba? But I have a different plan kay ISM for long term ito. So if hindi nyo po kaya ang long term, then put it on a different stock lang muna. Antayin nyo lang muna mag-uptrend nito if gusto nyo pumasok dito. Right? So, yun po yung insights ko kay ISM. Um, 
parent. Uh, can, what was the last stock na natignan natin? EEI. So, si Phoenix daw, may disclosure, Phoenix. Alright, so Phoenix, tignan natin ang disclosure ni Phoenix. Uh, o nga pala guys, trading masterclass this weekend na move ko na last weekend sana meron ako seminar kaso nga lang na move ko kasi um, the predicament sa family, ba? Diba? So this Saturday and Sunday uh, Saturday and Sunday 9 in the morning po seminar natin, right? 9 in the morning, send me a message if you want to join that uh, so I can give you the details, right? So sat sun uh, 8 uh, 9 in the morning. Right, ginabing ko kay, yun, so. Anyways, here's the disclosure. Tignan natin, uh, mutual cancellation agreement. Refers to this uh, agreement uh, kay PXP yata ito. Eh, right? This is PXP. So, yeah, this is some uh, bad news for the deal with PXP. So, and um, also relinquished any and all prevailing rights granted under right. So na cancel yun deal nila. So it happens in 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 trades. So I think that's gonna affect P affect Phoenix. Uh, so bakam bumagsak si Phoenix. So stay away lang muna, right? So that happens in stocks. Hindi natin talaga alam. So right now Phoenix is playing at the upside. Um, bakam bumagsak. Ni recommend ko to si Phoenix dito sa babae, de ba? So congratulations sa mga nag gain. Um, but right now, I think with the bad news, I think it's gonna affect Phoenix and PXP. So, baka mo magsak yung mga stocks na yun. So, konti ingat lang muna with, with Phoenix. So, VLL, bad news po yun guys ha. Um, so, VLL, um, get you near the support as much as you can. Napaka stable na ni VLL right now, right? Meron tayo. You, you can enter anytime VLL. Hopefully, manalo yung upside. But, PLL is a strong company, so I think it's gonna go uh, go up still. So um, remember, I recommended VLL here, and so VLL here again, and then numipad na and VLL here again. Right now, I think it's gonna go up just in case we're mistaken. Pwede naman tayo cut loss. Anyways, maliit naman ang risk ni VLL. So yun yung curse na mga nagahabol sa taas. So we don't really know what's higher on risk natin dyan sa taas. So VLL, get near, near that support as much as you can. Metro Bank. Right, so, hmm, hmm, so far so good, right? So Metro Bank, we have we're we're seeing this downtrend somehow. Pag nag breakout ito, that will be our entry point. So yeah, MBT. Um, anytime soon, may hinug na yan. So abangan lang natin. Uh, it's 9:23. Time check. JFC. Alvin Lee, sir, sana next time medyo lakasan niyo po audio niyo para sa mga walang earphones para bulong lang po kasi bosses niyo. Oi, sorry, so sorry about that. <clears throat> Thank you for letting me know, Alvin. Right. Medyo masakit yung lalamon ko kasi lakasan ko lang yung volume ng microphone ko. Ganyan. Pasensya na. Thank you so much para sa pagsabi niyan. I'm gonna, lalakasan ko na lang yung volume ko ng microphone ko para kahit maliit yung boses ko, maririnig niyo po. Pasensya na po. <laughs> Thank you for, for giving a heads up. Hindi ko kasi alam. Hindi, wala akong monitor. Walang, walang nag-monitor ng audio ko. So I'm doing everything by myself. Hindi ko po alam na mahina na pala. Right, so thank you so much for that. Um, going back to the list, sino ba ito? Si JFC. And si JFC so far is forming a good round bottom. So I think JFC is already going to be going up anytime soon. Pero the best entry point for JFC will be a breakout. Kung gusto niyo pong pumasok kay JFC, use a breakout na lang. Right, kasi medyo mataas na si JFC. Hirap na i-recommend ngayon eh. Um, JFC SMPH SMPH malapit na po mag breakout so yeah if you wanna enter SMPH use a breakout strategy right mag all time high na si SMPH anytime soon baka mag all time high to today may volume din so congratulations sa mga pumasok kay SMPH and po very good entry today for SMPH pero yung SMPH is one of the best stock to trade napakadali lang po i-trade ni SMPH tingnan niyo po um, recommended here, sell tayo dito. Recommended here, sell tayo dito. Recommended here, sell na naman tayo dito. Alright, so right now, baka mag breakout. So, let's see for soon what will happen kay SMPH. Medyo mataas na eh, kaya I don't really wanna recommend it. Baka, pero baka mag all time high today. So, use a breakout strategy if gusto nyo pong pumasok dyan. BPI, we recommended BPI and this support. So, buy as long as that support holds for BPI. Isa yun sa mga recommendations for last Friday. So, pwede pa pong pasukin yan. 
It's 9.26 na pala guys. So, pasensya na if hindi ko po mabasa lahat. Alright. So, sorry again for the volume. Alright. Uh, lalakasan ko na yung microphone ko sa susunod. I'll see you again tomorrow. So, same time. Ayan. Um, sa mga hindi pa po nagka-copy trade sa akin, um, don't miss this chance. Um, create an eToro account. Please use my link lang. Make sure you use my link. If hindi nyo po nagamit ang link ko, sabihin nyo po sa akin. Send me a message para po ma-transfer sa akin. Sayang naman po. Malaking tulong na po yan sa channel. Right? As you get tomorrow, as always, let's get rich together. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh